네, 가장 어, 정확한 응답은 뭐겠습니까? What is the most accurate answer? 기준이요. What's the standard for that? 어, 그거는 하나님이 원하시는 거라 해야 되겠죠. It has to be what God wants. 예, 하나님은 처음부터 이렇게 말씀하셨어요. And God said this from the very beginning. 아브라함에게 처음부터 내 업은 세계 복음하니까요. From the very beginning, he said to Abraham, "This is your occupation will be world evangelization." 이게 답입니다. And so this is the answer, making into a two, three, seven partisan. 나의 업을 이삼지 만들어 예수님께서도 말씀하셨어요. And Jesus even spoke about making your occupation into the two, three, seven partisan. 근데 이게 쉽지 않다 말이에요. But this is not that easy. 어, 예수님이 말씀하셨고 성경의 약속을 항상 했지만. 내 업이 세계화가 된다는 것은 쉬운 일 아니에요. Do you spoke about this in the Bible? Always spoke about this, but for you to make your occupation globalized is not an easy thing. 그런데 반대로 이한좀 얘기를 해보면 하나님 안 믿고 전혀 상관없는 사람이 전문인들이 나오면 이상치 있겠거든요. But if we speak from the opposite side, we see that people who don't believe in God, who don't have the gospel at all, once they become professionals, they did turn their occupations into a global enterprise. 어, 통신이 전혀 없는 시절인데도 그랬어요. And even in an age where there was no communication whatsoever. 지금은 뭐, 뭐, 빨리, 빨리 소통이 된 때입니까? And now is a time where you have very quick communication. 어, 옛날에는 뭐 전혀 소통이 안 되는데도 세계화가 됐다. In the past, even though there was no, not that kind of communication at all, they had globalization. 실제로 내 업이 이 삼칠이 돼야 경제 회복도 되는 거예요. And your occupation must reach the two and thirty nations for the restoration of finances. 그래서 우리는 하나 더 사명이 이 삼칠 선교란 말이에요. And one more mission that we have is to do missions to the two hundred thirty-seven nations. 이걸 보고 이제. 빛의 경제가 회복된. And we call it the restoration of the economy of light. 자 그러면 실제로 그러면 증거로 봐야 될 게. And the actual evidence that we need to look at. 20세기를 움직인 경제인 100명을 뽑았는데 70명이 미국서 나왔어요. That they spoke the hundred business people who really moved the business of the finance of the twentieth century, and seventy of them came from America. 어. 그리고 2%가 일본에서 나왔어요. 2% came from Japan. 음, 그때까지만 해도 한국 경제는 세계로 움직일 수 있는 인물이 없다. 이 나왔어요. Even at that point, there wasn't any Korean business person who could really move the world finance. 근데 여기서 자세히 봐야 될게 미국 경제 70%를 움직인 배경이 But what we must look at here is that the background for the 70% of the people who moved this from America were the three organizations. 자, 이렇게 봤을 때 완전히 가능성이 뭔가 하니까 이거거든요. Then from that perspective, the only possibility is the Nephilim. 자, 이렇다고 볼때 우리는 깨닫으면 그냥 쉬운 거예요. If we look at it from this perspective and to realize it this way, it becomes very easy. 네, 3단체가 하는 키가 이거거든요. The key to what the three organizations are doing is this, the Nephilim. 그래서 문화도 이걸로, 작품도 이걸로, 전부 이렇게 다 만들어. The culture as well as masterpieces, they're making everything through this. 그러니까 이제 그 3단체가 제일 활발하게 움직이는 미국이기 때문에 미국 사람들이 이 혜택을 입는 거죠. And the three organizations they move most actively in America, so it's Americans who are benefiting off of this. 자 이걸 보고 흑암 경제라는. We call this the economy of darkness. 자 그러면 우리는 지금 성경에 볼때 거의 구약 시대 보면은. When you look at the Bible, especially in the Old Testament. <웃음> 이걸 잡은 사람들이 나왔어요. There are people who held to this. 어, 처음부터 하나님은 아브라함에게 이걸 약속했잖아요. That from the very beginning God promised this to Abraham. 처음부터 약속했거든요. It was promised from the beginning. 이걸 누가 성취시키는 있는 거니까 요셉이 성취시켰어요. And who fulfilled this? Joseph in Genesis 45. 요셉이 완전히 Joseph completely reached the 237 nations. Not only restoring the finances of 237, but the economy of light. 
우리는 길만 안다면 가능한 거죠. If that is so, if we simply know the way, it becomes possible. 이 이전까지만 해도 이게 나오질 않았어요. But prior to that, they never saw that. 요셉 한 명이 나오니까 이렇게 되죠. But when one person, Joseph, came out, they were able to achieve that. 우리는 하든 안 하든 자세히 눈여겨 봐야 되죠. But whether we do it or not, it's something we must closely look at. 할수 있다 없다 떠나서. Putting aside whether it's going to work or it's not going to work, we have to look at these facts. Even in music, people who are into Nephilim are doing it. That's why music becomes so strange. There are even some people in America who disguise themselves, look like Satan, like demons, and they come out and sing. You know, as I s a 요게베 시연을 잡았다. As you well know, Jacob held to this covenant. 그런데 이게 나중에 출애굽기 5장에서 12장 46절을 보면 열 기적을 일으키면서 문화와 경기를 다 뒤집어. And later on, when we look at Exodus 5:5 to 12, they were able to really use the gospel to change the culture and finances. 그럼 이스라엘 민족들은 이 해방돼 나와서 광야에서 이제 시작을 한 거죠. And the Israelites they were liberated and they had their start in the wilderness. 또 예를 들어 보면은. 열왕기상 18장 1절 15절에 오바다가 언약을 잡은 거예요. Also in 1 Kings 18 verse 1 through 15, Obadiah held to this covenant. 어느 날 보니까 이렇게 세계를 움직이는 도단서 운동이 난 겁니다. And one day the Dothan movement arose to really move the world in 2 Kings chapter 6. 그이 사람들의 특징이 다 네피림을 넘어갈 만한 And the character is all the people that they did something that surpassed the Nephilim. 어떻게 보면 이건 방법이 아니기 때문에 쉬울 수 있어요. In one sense, it's not a method, so it is simple. 어떻게 보면 이거는 어, 많은 사람들이 뭐 경쟁해서 가져가는 게 아니기 때문에 알면 쉽게 할수 있단 말이에요. In one sense, it's simple if you know this because it's not something that a lot of people compete over. 이 하나만 더 예를 든다면. If I were to give one more example. 이사야 6장에 보면 하나님이 말씀하셨잖아요. If you look at Isaiah 6, God speaks. 나를 보내서 선이가 하나님은 아니라고 했습니다. That when Isaiah said, "Send me," he said, "No." 네. 앞으로 더 어려움 올 거라. Even greater hardships will come. 그러나 그루터기는 남을 거다. However, the stump will remain. 네. 이말 알아들은 사람들이 다니엘이고 그새 친구고. Those who understood these words were Daniel, his three friends, and Esther. And the characteristic of all these people is that they reached the 237 nations. And so we can compare these two things right now. We've got the sure evidence here. 그러면 우리가 예수님이 하신 말씀을 눈여겨드려야 되죠. If that is what we must carefully look at what Jesus said. 이때 그리스도께서 마지막으로 또이 단을 주고. At this time, at the very end, Christ once again gave us this word. 그러면서 여러분 아시다시피 중요한 방법 이 망대를 얘기한 겁니다. And as you well know, he spoke of the important method, the bartizan. 예수님이 계속 이 강조를 많이 하셨어요. And Jesus continued to emphasize the Trinity. 어, 뭐 굉장히 많이 요한복음이 제일 많이 했죠. That he said the most in the book of John. 나와 아버지는 하나입니다. I and the Father are one. Abraham believed in me and was saved. And saying these tremendous words, the Jewish people could not understand at all. And so now they begin to understand with this one word, Christ. And so that Christ for four days explained the power of the throne. And so that Christ for four days explained the power of the throne. And from here we see the power of the five authorities. And from this point on, even though you sit still, you can overcome the ruler of the kingdom of the air. And from this point on, you see the power of the three ages to really solve the past, the present, and future. 가장 중요한 게 뭡니까? Now at this time, what's the most important thing? 예수님께서 미리 말씀을 다 예언한 겁니다. And Jesus spoke about it in advance. He prophesied it. And through those who saw that, the works arose. 
그게 CVDIP. That's the CVDIP. 그래서 마지막 하나님의 소원이 뭐겠어요? And so what's God's last desire? 세 가지 뜰입니다. It's the three courtyards. 굉장한 거죠. It's a tremendous thing. 요것만 기도하면 돼요. Just pray about this. 저는 이것만 기도합니다. Honestly, this is what I pray about. 응답이 올 수밖에 나중에 역사 일어날 수밖에 없는 거 되는 거예요. The ants are bound to come and the works will arise. 여기 지금 신부로 말하는 이런 통 얘기다. 그 다음 이런 미디어 가지고 작업한다. 이거는 어마어마한 거예요. The people here serving right now through interpretation or with the media, this is a tremendous thing. 공통적 특징이 일이 어렵단 말이죠. And the common factor among all that is that the work is hard. 그러다 보니까 어, 여러분들이 하는 일이나 교회 안에서 뭐 상황 있는 사람들이 이게 굉장히 기중하다는 걸좀 놓치게 돼요. And so the work that you are doing and the workers inside the church, 대부분. they lose hold of the fact that the, what they're doing is very important. 그래서 여러분 인생 전체를 놓고 생각해야 되고요. 하나님의 응답을 놓고 생각해야 돼요. And so you have to look at your entire lifespan, also look at God's answers. 그러니까 뭐 아주 소수 말고는 여러분이 하고 있는 일이 기중하다. So besides the vast minority, there aren't many people who consider the work that you are doing to be precious. 어려우니까. Because it's hard. But wasn't it hard 맞죠. for these people? It was even harder. Yet these people found that. That's why they moved the world. 그래. So it's not about arrogance. You need to realistically realize how precious the work that you are doing is. So Paul realized well that I am a jar of clay that's easily broken. 그러나 내 안에 보화를 담았기 때문에 이 사방으로 쌓임 당해도 안 죽는다. But because I have this treasure inside, even if I am hard pressed on all sides, I will not be put to death. 그래서 복음에 대해서 가장 정확하게 표현한 사람이 바울이. And so Paul was the one who expressed the gospel most accurately. 심지어 나는 십자가에 죽고 이래. He even said, "I have been crucified with Christ on the cross." 아니 이 내피림으로 있는 나는 죽어야만 되는 거지. 그래 내 안에 그리스도께서 사신 거지. So the me that's within Nephilim must die, but now Christ lives in me. 이 부분이 굉장히 중요한 부분입니다. And so these are very important things. 이 부분 가지고 생각도 하고 기도도 하고 포럼하고 이게 다거든요. And so continue to think about and to form and to pray over this, and this is everything. 그러면 신약 시대 성취된 걸로 볼 수가 있습니다. If that is seen, we can see what was fulfilled in the Old New Testament. 이것은 그리스도의 실제 약속입니다. And this is Christ's realistic 자, promise. 이 원리를 알면 이해가 돼요. If you know this principle, then you can understand. 이 원리를 알면. If you know this principle. 예, 네피림 반대 말이 이거 아닙니까? Because the opposite of nephilim is that 네. in number three. 이걸 아야 전 세계를 움직일 수 있어. And it must be that in order to move the entire world. 너무나 간단하게 생각으로도 움직이고 기도로도 움직일 수. And so simply, you can move it through your thoughts and through prayer. 우리는 이걸 안 믿는다는 거예요. But the problem is that we don't believe this. 안 믿는 조건이 우리 주위에는 많이 있습니다. Because there are many conditions that prevent us from believing around us. 또 심지어 이 교회자들도 안 믿어. And there are even pastors who don't believe this. 교회자들 이래 보면은 어려운 거 있잖아요. 그 마치다 보는 거죠. When you look at the pastors, they only look at the hardships. 야, 그러니까 얼마나 손해 봅니다. And so it's a great loss to them. 그러면 평신도들 어떻겠어요? Then what about the lay people? 말할 필요도 없는 거죠. And there's no two words about that. 자, 이 부분을 안 믿으면 이거는 말이 안 되는 거예요. And if you don't believe this, then Matthew 28 makes no sense. 아니, 자전거도 없는 시대인데 무슨 세계로 가라고 합니까? It was an age where they didn't even have bicycles, but God telling them to go to all the world, that makes no sense. 근데 되었거든요. But they did it. 결국 이대로 됐다. Ultimately, it happened according to that verse. 이거 안 되니까 하나님은 많은 전쟁, 재앙, 많은 걸 허락해. And when that wasn't taking place, God permitted many things like wars and hardships, and so He had no choice but to do it that way. 어, 내가 전도사 때 이렇게 우리 일을 하면 같이 동료들이 있잖아요. Then when I was a pastor, I had my colleagues working with me. 그 내가 약간의 따돌림 당하는 체질은 아니지만은 약간의 나를 좀 멀리하는. And so I wasn't the kind of personality that I should be outcast by them, but I could see that they were kind of distant from me. 왜냐, 99%들은 다 어려운 것만 얘기하는. Why? Because ninety-nine percent they only spoke about the hardships. 뭐, 나도 어렸잖아. 나는 그렇게 생각하지 않았거든. Yes, it was hard for me too, but I didn't look at it that way. 교회 전도사라는 핑계로 
Then with the excuse of being the assistant pastor of a church, I can go anywhere I want. As the assistant pastor of a church, I can go to school, I can go out to evangelize, I can go everywhere. That if I were not an assistant pastor of that church, I would not be able to enter those places. And so almost everyone else was like that, and that is why I could not really communicate with them. And I could see that they were kind of keeping me at, at arm's length. And because of that, the part that I was interested in had no choice but to have revival and growth. And so the other 90%, they were joining together. And the point that it was kind of strange. And I could understand. And I could understand. I'm not talking about the situation. I'm saying, what are those people doing right now? And so, you know, there are people from my past, so I do bring them to mind every once in a while. I don't even know where they are. They absolutely were assistant pastors, so whether they became pastors, whether they're doing their pastoral ministry, I don't even know. Now, what kind of life is that? There's no reason to face such a loss like that. It's what Jesus spoke about. The very beginning is that I have everything in heaven and on earth. Therefore, just go and make disciples of all nations. That's what he said. And I'll be with you always to the very end of the age. And so even the office workers, inside of a church that proclaim the gospel, even the office work that you do is a part of world evangelization. Uh, the words are a little bit different, it's exactly the same, but it's from a spiritual aspect in Mark 16. Try praying in my name. And demons will depart. Pray in my name and the sick will get well. And no matter what poison you eat, it will not harm you. That's what he said. Now, actually, 1 verse 8 is talking about globalization, but also it's talking about strength and power. And also emphasizing the time. For number one and number two, the timing is a little bit um, um, ambiguous, but number three is clear. But he said, do not leave Jerusalem. Wait. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And so it's talking about the time. 그래서 뭐 성령 충만도 얘기를 많이 해볼 필요가 있는데 성령 충만 이렇게 할때 많은 사람은 체험도 있고 여러 가지 있겠죠. And yes, we can speak a lot about the feeling of the Holy Spirit as well. And you mentioned that many people think about experiencing something. 그냥 믿는 겁니다. But you're just simply believing. 어, 하나님 주신 거니까. Because it's given by God. 자, 이게 베드로 시대에 어떻게 성취된? Now during Peter's time, how was this fulfilled? 요게 and how is it fulfilled in Paul's time? There is a need for us to look at this. That unimaginable things took place for the 237 nations. That the Israelites scattered throughout the entire world, they always gathered together during these feasts. And it was at that time that they raised the crippled man. And so look carefully at the timing. And that's why amazing work spread throughout the entire world. But I believe that God can do greater things than this. That he says, yes, mountains will be moved, and they were. That he went beyond all of the mountains and the seas of the world. And so what is the use of just moving a mountain? But there is great significance in what Jesus said. If you have faith, then you can move mountains. So believe in God. And they did move mountains. And so it's not just the mountains that they moved all over the world. And that's why we say this about our Tarapang. That's why we use this motto. If it's the gospel, then we can cross many oceans and mountains. And so I held to this term from the very beginning. The other you might think of this as some kind of title for me, but no, this is my original prayer. 
바다와 산을 넘는다. No matter what anyone says, the gospel can pass oceans and mountains. 이게 곧 이삼칠입니까? And this is two three seven. 하나 하나가 우리가 이게 단어라 이런 거는 제게는 막 응답과 체험의 관계 있다 막 그런 다른 사람 모를 수 있죠. And so the address one by one is because for me I might have my own personal experience on t h i n g s that others might not know. And so this is not a title that I use for myself. This is my prayer. 이거는 지금 이스라엘과 팔레스타인의 싸움처럼요. 굉장한 Actually, eight is a great field of a battle, just like Israel and Palestine today. 여러분 아시다시피 남쪽 유다 이랬죠. As you well know, in the north it was Judea, Judah. 북쪽이 이스라엘입니다. And then uh, in the south it was Judah, and on the north it was Israel. 그 북쪽 이스라엘의 수도입니다. And so this was the capital of the northern kingdom of Israel. 네, 남쪽 이스라엘의 수도는 예루살렘이고요. And we saw that Jerusalem was the um, the capital of the southern kingdom. 그런데 이게 약간 조금 어. 지역적으로도 그렇지만 정신적으로 경계선이었어요. But regionally and regionally as well as mentally, it was considered outside their territory. 그래서 이, 이 남쪽에 있는 유다인들이 저 북쪽으로 가려면 이를 거쳐야 돼 사마리아를. And so the people in the south wanted to go up to the north. They had to pass through Samaria. 이를 거쳐야 되는데 이거 안 거치려고 둘러갔어요. And so, but in order not to pass through it, they would go around it. 그러면 이제 그답다 나왔죠. Then that shows clearly what it is. The people would not cross through it; they would go around it. 그래서 예수님께서 수아성 가서 여인에게 물한 그릇 달라 할 때가 여기입니다. And so when Jesus went to the woman of Sychar and asked for a, a, a glass of water, it was here in Samaria. 그럼 예수님께서 물한 그릇 얻어 먹으려고 갔겠습니까? And do you think Jesus just went to that place in order to just get a cup of water? No, every step he took was meaningful. <웃음> 전부 이 삼칠과 관계. It's all connected with the twenty thirty seven nations. <웃음> 여러분 작은 일은 그렇게 돼요. And so that's what happens in the even little things that you do. 생각지도 않게 만남이 일어났는데 이게 에티오피아. It was an unexpected meeting, but that was with the Ethiopian eunuch. 자, 베드로 시대 일어난 겁니다. And this took place during Peter's time. 세계를 움직이고 있는 로마 거기에 특수부대 대장이 Cornelius. That Rome was moving the world, but the commander of the special forces there was Cornelius. But he completely received the gospel. Then what's going to happen? What would you have done? Cornelius, he was the captain of the Italian regiment. And his rank was not very high. And he only had about 100 soldiers underneath him. 그런데 이달리아 대 백부장. But he was the commander of the Italian regiment. 그 말은 로마 황제가 특별하게 파송한 대. That what that means is that the Roman Empire and especially chosen him. 이스라엘은 군인은 두 종류인데 원로원에서 파송하는 게 있고 황제가 파송하는. That in Rome there was two kinds of soldiers: those that were commissioned by the Senate and those who were commissioned by the emperor. 어느 게더 중요해? Which one is more important? Of course, what they do in the Senate is going to be what they do for the country. But this was chosen by the emperor. And think about it. He received the gospel. He completely got on his knees. Then do you think that he carried out his role or not? He had no choice but to. 대통령하고 통하는 사람이 있고요. 높아도 안 통하는 사람이 있어요. Even though your rank might be low, there are people who connect with the president. And even though your rank is high, there are people who cannot connect with the president. 이 사람은 대국 백부장밖에 안 되지만 로마로 돌아갈 때는 황제에게 보고도 하고 이런 상황. His rank may only have been centurion, but when he goes back to Rome, he would communicate and report to the emperor. 틀림없이 세계복음의 역할이. Now, undoubtedly, he probably carried out his role for world evangelization. 많은 축복들을 모르고 놓치기 쉽죠. And in this way, it's, we, be, we are unaware of the many blessings and we lose hold of them. 드디어 바울 때 보세요. Ultimately, look at Paul's time. Yes, 처음으로 선교사로 정식 파송된 거예요. For the very first time, he was officially commissioned as a missionary. 이전까지는 억지로 다막 갖고 있었어요. And prior to that, all the missions was forced missions. 그러니까 한 군데 한 군데를 자세히 보라. And look at each and every reference here. 바울이 돌을 맞아 죽은 데가 여기입니다. The place where Paul was stoned to death was here. 여기서 살아났잖아요. But he came back to life. 여기서 나온 인물이 디모데입니다. The individual that came from this place was Timothy. 한 군데 한 군데가요. 이 삼칠의 인물들이 나오고 있어요. And so in each individual, we see people connected with the twenty thirty seven nations. 그래서 문을 다 막고 마게도니아 가는 마게도니아 가서 만난 사람이 루디아라. And when all doors were closed, they went to Macedonia. The person he met there was Lydia. 이 사람들이 싹다 로마와 관계 있어. All these people were connected 
with Rome. And what is that? And so it was connected with the 237 nations. This is how things began to progress. And so this happened right before Paul went to Rome in Acts 19. And this is how it was fulfilled, Acts 27. 그 자리에서 로마도 보아야 돼. Acts 19:21 he says, I must see Rome as well. 당연히 바울아 두려움 말라 가이사 앞에 서야. As a rightfully Paul, do not fear. You must stand before Caesar. 이런 답들이 다 나옵니다. That we come to these kinds of answers. 여기까지가 거의 공통적으로 보면 이 삼절. That if we look at this, the common factor here are the 237 nations. 오늘 저녁까지 안 해도 기도로 가능합니다. Even if we don't don't go that far, we can do it through prayer. 그래서 이 초대 교회가 남긴 증거들은 어마어마합니다. And so the evidence that the early church left behind are tremendous. 뭐 2, 3절 정도가 아닌데 세 가지가 중요한 게 있습니다. That there are three very important things. 어, 유대인들이 갖고 있던 극단적인 율법주의 무너뜨렸습니다. He broke down the extreme legalism that the Jewish people had. 저 마게도냐에 And in Macedonia? 극단적인 신비주의. It was the extreme unhealthy mysticism. 이 극단이란 말은요. 너무 지나치게 하기 때문에 눈에 보이는 게 없어요. They want to say extreme the people are so far gone they can't see straight. 그래서 결국은 율법을 제일 안 지키는 게 And so ultimately, it's the Jewish people who do not keep the letter of the law at all. They speak about the law the most, but it's the Jewish people that don't keep the law at all. And the Jewish people, they're oblivious to that fact, but the people from among them who came out with the gospel, they're the ones who surpassed all that. And they also overcame this third fact. 완전히 극단적인 백건주의. That it was extreme hegemony, which was the Rome. 힘도 없는 소수의 유대인 그 중에 복음 받은 사람이 이런 증거를 남긴 겁니다. And so it says the vast minority of the Jewish people who had the gospel, they're the ones who left behind that evidence. 어쨌든 메시지 얘기한 대로 우리 한국이 브라질하고 축구보다 3대 0으로 이긴 것 같아요. The same thing as if Korea went against Brazil in a soccer match and they win 3 to 0. 말이 안 되는 일이 벌어진 거. And that's uh, that's un <웃음> unspeakable, but that's what happened. 아, 틀림없습니다. But undoubtedly that's what happened. 여러분이 가지고 있는 비밀입니다. It's a mystery that you possess. 이거 찾아서 산업을 해. And so find this and run your businesses. 어, 이거 누리면서 산업도 하고 학업도 하고. And also do your studies and your business as you enjoy this. 더 중요한 건 조그만한 교회 안의 일. 잠깐만 할때이 엄청난 걸 여러분이 가슴에 품고 일을 해. What's more important is that as you do your small side of your field as well as your church, you have to place this in your heart as you do that. 그러면 우연히 길 가다가 만난 에디오피아 내시 이것도 굉장히 이유가 있는 거야. Then even the Ethiopian eunuch you coincidentally met on the street, there is great meaning in that. 어, 여러분들이 또 많은 장로님들이 교회를 하려다 보면. And all of you, as well as our elders, as you're running church work, there are hardships. And when you go into your business field, there are even greater hardships. And when you do church work, yes, there are a lot of hardships. But don't think of them as hardships. Because then you get deceived by that. And you don't want your life to be deceived. I always think about this. The place where I am right now is a place that God will bless the most. That whether other people say it's a misconception or not, I'm going to believe that. 이번에 뭐저 목사님들 모여가지고 캠프를 하고 뭐 집회를 부산에서 했는가 봐요. 전도 캠프를 했는. And so this time pastors got together and did evangelism camp in Busan. 그래서 그 조원택 목사 보고. And so they asked Reverend Joel Tech to go and give a lecture, and he said in his lecture. 수십 년 전에 말이지 유광수 목사 자꾸 뭐 세계 복음을 얘기했는데 자기는 굉장히 이거 우습게 생각했다는 거죠. That countless years ago, Reverend Yu spoke about world evangelization, and I didn't think of it as being serious. 그래서 우리의 작은 것도 세계 복음. And even our little things, that's world evangelization. 우리 사람인들 하나도 축복 놓치지 말고. 여러분들이 하나님 주신 언약 성취하는 주역되기를 
그리스도 이름으로 축복합니다. As our business people, may you not lose hold of a single blessing, and may you be the ones who fulfill God's covenant as His main figures. 만왕의 왕이신 주 예수 그리스도의 은혜와 May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the King of Kings, 하나님의 무한하신 사랑하시고 and the infinite love of God our Father, and the work of the Holy Spirit. 이 삼칠 살릴 모든 산업인들 upon all the business people who save the 237 nations. 또그 산업 위에 and upon their businesses. 지금부터 영원까지 be both now. 항상 함께 계실지어다. And always forever. Amen. Amen.